got that I tell them, 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 What's good, YouTube? You know what it is. You man Jinx out here. You know what I'm saying? JCR Multimedia now. Not Shadow Spy anymore. Shadow Spy is done with. It's over with. Zip. Finish. Delete though. And I am out here with Miss Ayana, a.k.a. Let me make sure I got it right. Oceanic. Oceanic what? Vlogs? Yeah. Oceanic Vlogs. You know what I'm saying? We got a little mukbang going on here. We got a little Popeye's mukbang popping. And, um... What are we doing? A little mukbang popping right here. We're gonna talk to y'all for a minute, let y'all know what we're doing with our channels and um just sit out here kicking a vibe with y'all for a minute. Hopefully this picture doesn't come out as dark as it looks, because it looks really, really dark right now. So I don't know, I'll try to fix it when I get back home. But anyway, Popeye's mukbang. Uh let me tell y'all what I'm trying to do with my channel. So as you heard, it's JCR brand, I mean, JCR Multimedia, which is my new brand now, because um, the Shadow Spy just wasn't working for me. It was a little, little kind of, it was different, okay? But I figured the JCR Multimedia, which is basically just my initials, and Multimedia is very simple, straight to the point, close for it. So what I'm trying to do on my channel right now I've been down it out a little bit, was sick a little bit, so now that I'm kind of back into the swing of things, I'm the, um, I have some film projects that I'm trying to do, so they probably won't stop. We stop. I'm going to have some film projects I'm trying to do. She, this one right here, every time a camera goes on, I don't know why she don't do it on her channel, but when a camera goes on somebody else's channel, she's a whole lively, different, you'll see, just... I don't have to say no, you'll just see. But anyway, we are what? We are, and I say we as a collectively, because the first project that I have going on, Ion is actually in it. Now, it is going to be a paranormal type of story where Ayana plays like kind of a speedster in it. So, you know, one thing you're going to be doing is running a lot. So, you got to get your exercise up. I am fit. Because you're going to have to, you got to get on a treadmill. Well, you have to be on a treadmill to do the running scenes. So, I'm just letting you know right now, you'll be doing a lot of running. Okay? So, you get used to it. Okay? And, um, but I don't want to give away too, too much, but it's going to be a paranormal sort of action flip. Not, not too, too much action, because I can't afford all that. Okay? And, um, this is going to be a part of that. I also have my gaming channel that I'm starting. You know what I'm saying? Where I'll be doing a couple of... What games? Um, right now, we have NBA 2K, um, World of Warships, um, Call of Duty, and one other one. I don't really have a huge amount. I thought you were going to say Fortnite. I was about to be like, oh, and no. Grand Theft Auto. I got Fortnite, too. I just don't play it. I, just, I wanted to see what it was about because everybody be talking about it. So I just had to check it out one day. But I don't like it's, not my, it's not really my cup of tea. I'm on my so, Fortnite. good luck to all the Fortniters out there. Enjoy. But I'm a chicken nugget. I won't be on that. So, um, I don't like Fortnite. Why not? Mm. Not your thing? A I boy's just, game? It's not a boy's game. Girls play with my costume, but it's just like... Irrelevant. Did you ever play, um... What's the other one? It's a building game that everybody used to play. With all Minecraft? the square, yeah. It's something like that, but more action, I guess. Yeah, it was like, actually people get so mad over Fortnite, they do bad stuff. That's why I think Fortnite is stupid. Okay, as you can see, she doesn't like Fortnite, so. Fortnite is out of our lives, so. Um, but yeah, I'm starting that. I actually have a podcast that I want to start doing, which is going to be called No Cap Radio. Now, No Cap, um, for the ones who are out there know it means no lie. So, no lie radio, nothing but the truth on all walks of life. You know what I'm saying? So, anybody who remembers me now knew I did the radio show, Underground Connection. You did a radio show? Yeah, this was a couple of years ago. Was I born? You was born. Yeah. You were probably a baby at the time, because it was about... 
How come I never heard it? Because me and your mother weren't really tight like that at the time, so she never really watched it. Therefore, you wouldn't have never known about it. So, but there's still some, there's some, some of them on YouTube. You'll be on this one though. You might even help me co-host it one day. Which is just basically what we're doing right now. So there will be a podcast, No Cap Radio, that's going to be coming soon. And um, I'm just trying to get everything in order, get things um, put together and out there. And, um, you know, hopefully by the time things start to warm up, because we were supposed to shoot a film project, but with, the, with it being so cold this year, this is like one of the cold years that we've had in Boston. Um, a lot of people just didn't want to come out. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of stuff that was going to be done on the inside, um, I couldn't get like certain dates for people to get together that that um, worked out with the person's house we were shooting at. So that didn't happen. So basically, that's what I'm going to be doing with my channel for now. I mean, I'll give you guys further updates later. So we're going to talk about what Miss Oceanic, Oce Oceanic Blogs is going to be doing with her channel. Now, before we get into that, I want I want to put it out there and say that I honest creativity right now is not lacking. It's just not at its peak. So what I want you guys to do is actually watch her in the comments below with a link to her channel. A comment below, a link to her channel will be there. And you can either comment on this video or go to one of her videos and comment and just give her ideas for people around, how old are you now? Almost 11. 11, 10, almost 11. So it'll be 11 in July. Yeah. I'm just going to mess up with JJ so much. See how bright this whole post. Um, but she needs I, she needs pretty much ideas and, um, you know, just stuff to do. If any of you guys want to, like, network with her, as long as you're in her age group. Yeah, I don't know how dangerous they are. Oh. No, I'll talk about people who just, like, watch it. They don't really put too much in the comments. All right, sorry about that. We had a little cutoff thing right there. So what I was saying was, um, you know, I honestly need some ideas for her channel. So ideas. she can have, yeah, because you always complain you don't have no ideas. Idea. You said ideas. Ideas, right? You know what I mean. So she needs a couple of ideas to make her channel grow. And, you know, if any of you guys who are watching right now who are kids or may have kids, can go to her channel, subscribe to her channel. And just you know, give a little pointers here and there, or comment on the videos. Give a, you know, give a view to it, and um, you know, we'll go for there. But I want to turn it over to her to let her tell me and you what she would like to do with her channel. Her channel's fairly new; it's only about maybe what a little over a year old. No. How old is it? I started it in third grade. So two years. Two years ago. Okay. Yeah. All right, so what would you like to do with your channel? Where is it you, you think you want to go with this channel? I'm not going to do it as a career, no. Okay. But, because, I don't know. But, but what happens if it takes off and you get millions of views and get like 5.5 million subscribers? You're young, you could pull it off. You know, it's usually a younger crowd who can pull off a YouTube channel than somebody my age. Well, I'm going to do my job and vlog. So, like, since I have a lot of subscribers, like, I'll post one day, not one day, not the other, one day. Like, so, like, every other day. Okay. So, like, I'll post on Monday, but not Tuesday. Wednesday, but not Thursday. Friday, but not Saturday. Sunday, but not Monday. See? So, with the, with, the YouTube, <coughs> with the YouTube algorithms, they want you to at least post three times a week. So, that's actually not bad. So, I would recommend to you, you would start your videos on Fridays. Do Friday, Sunday, and then maybe Tuesday. Because they have to be uploaded by Thursday. All three. In order for them to get into the category of... um recommended you know recommended videos and stuff like that so if you're doing three days a week and you at least come up before thursday um this is from what i hear you should be good to go now what type of videos would you like to do maybe like more slimes and more vlog videos more vlogs uh-huh 
more reactive videos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe more skits. That works. See, these are ideas. Now I should expose you. A couple of weeks ago, when we were trying to have this conversation about ideas, this chick almost lost her mind. But she couldn't, she couldn't, she had YouTuber block, which is equivalent to writer's block, when you can't think of anything to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But those are good, but those are good ideas. Those are good stuff. Now, did you ever think, where are you going? You just can't get up in the middle of an interview, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> interview, Mark, man, you just can't just get up and walk out with, you act like one of those disgruntled rappers or something. You know what I'm saying? Some respect on my name. You just walk out the studio. You can't do that, man. You have to stay. You have to stay into the interview. Hold on. This is rude too. I shouldn't even be checking my phone right now, but I'm kind of waiting on something. You know, somebody really. Okay. So, um. Okay, I'm by my. Are you not doing the thing? dancing on TikTok? So, what else would you like to do with your channel? Um. That's it? Just the interviews and. What, you gotta use some bathroom or something? <laughs> You're a little fidgety. Do you? No. no. This chick is not bad. But I don't make a habit out of it. I just inquire, I just invested in an air fryer, y'all. I don't really eat Popeyes that much, like it's not like I don't either. Every once in a while. But this is a this is this is the second time I ate it this week. Well, since the weekend. First time this month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's um very uh, articulate and dance and wants to do gymnastics, so she has to keep her body right. She don't want to eat stuff like this all the time. Look at She's also a show off, too. Just so y'all know. So, I need a show off here. So, basically, those are the updates for the channels, you know? Um, now, let me ask you this. I don't think this has ever been on camera before for a question. What made you decide to get into YouTube? That's the question. Because I think you and your sister have the same, I think your sister have the same answer, but I would like to hear it. So, one day, um, my first video was at Water Country. Mm -hmm. So one day I was going to Water Country, right? Mm -hmm. And I had this friend in the car with me. But he was like four years older. Mm -hmm. And he already had a YouTube channel. So he was like, you know how to start a YouTube channel, right? And that was when I have, like... That's what got y'all into YouTube? No, that's not what got me into YouTube. I didn't want to, I didn't want to start a YouTube effort. Uh, sorry. Oh. This chicken. I didn't want to start one at first. So then, when we were waiting in line for, like, the ticket booth, I was, wait, I was like, watching YouTube videos. And seeing people like make money off of it, they have merch and all that stuff. So then I decided to make a YouTube channel because I thought it would be a good idea to have fun. And so that's why my first video was at like Water Country. Mm -hmm. And you just decided from that point on to do it? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Me, myself, I actually started YouTube. Back in 2007. But I never looked at it as how people look at it as today. Monetized videos and able to get views and subscribers. I, I didn't I didn't even know none of that was thinking about. You know? Um, On YouTube it used to just be like vines and, yeah. and like short videos out of like six minutes. Now when I made my channel, the only reason why I did it through YouTube because I didn't have a platform to... That was the only platform I knew where you can post a video for free and people can watch it across the world. And me and a friend of mine had a skit show 
Yeah, we called the Jinx P show at the time. You did? Yeah, that was an adult show, so don't go looking for it. I like won't. You, like you do everything else. I do not. So there was a skit show we used to do, but the only thing is that we wasn't really consistent with it. Like I said, okay, we didn't know nothing about none of this stuff. We wasn't really consistent with it. We would post every once. You know what? Actually, it was an annual show. We would post in February. You want to see another Jinx P show until next February. So why you keep getting out of the shot? I have to edit all that. Though. What are you doing? Playing with your feet? <laughs> um, Are you dirty, girl? I know it keeps running. That's why I'm putting you in the washer. What, your feet? <laughs> what? That's why I'm putting you in the washer. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this has been since she's been able to formulate words. So, just... This is her. This is why she's enjoyable. That's why I say go watch her videos and give her some tips, give her some ideas, and um, maybe y'all can. That chick is good, huh? Jesus, you just shoving it down your throat. There's like three other pieces in there. So that's what we got going on here during our mark bag. Now videos we might have be doing with us together. Um, we're actually supposed to do, we're supposed to do a cooking video, and we were going to do this. We were actually going to do the mukbang over the food that we cooked. But it's, there's a school night, so there's no time. Right. And plus, I was so, I got so tied up yesterday at the last moment. By the time I was available, I was just too tired to do anything, and I just said, no, we'll just do it tomorrow. So, that's why we're here today doing it. But, um, that's what we got going on right now, YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Um, what are you doing? I'm trying to separate my finger. What? You're already separated. <laughs> he will do like, I don't know. This? <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> you okay. weirdo. <laughs> this is my life. This is what I go through. I can do it. I look like a freaking frog. 11 years. This is well, it's almost 11 years. <coughs> and then some. Watch. But anyway, y'all, I want y'all to like. This is so hot. I think it's coming on my nose. What? The, the spiciness? I forgot how you was a spicy food. I wasn't thinking about it when I ordered it. But, but I can you, handle you, it. You tearing it up, though. When Ayana was younger, when she would eat like something spicy. I would lick everything. No, you wouldn't. She did not like spicy food, whatever. The first thing she would do, she'll buy into. She'll eat it. But the first thing she would do, she'll buy into. She's like, ooh, it's spicy. You don't remember that, do you? It's no. spicy. Yeah, Ask your sister. She remember. Ask your sister. She remember. Yeah. We both used to look at you like, what the hell? Wrong with <laughs> No, because like I went. It's spicy. Like, one time like I was little, I stole buffalo wing off my mom's plate. And then I started licking her. To get it off. We're gonna cut that out. Uh, that there won't be about any cannibalism about you <laughs> licking your mother. That just sounds. Disgusting. No, it was on her. It was. It was on her sweater. Okay. You got anything else you want to say about your channel? The link will be. The link will be down below. Um, the link will be down below. Like I said, go to the channel. Comment, like, subscribe, and all of that. You can see her doing all the foolery that she's doing right now. Because this is what she likes to do to entertain. Oh, tell them about your. Tell, why are you not even telling them about your um your other sites and stuff? I thought you wanted to like put your channel on TikTok. Up yep. Tell them your TikTok. So I have a TikTok. Like, if anybody watching this has TikTok, um, my TikTok. Is um Yana Baby Girly Boo okay? It's Yana Baby Girly Boo. Yana Baby Girly Boo. 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 Uh, my bad. Cause I'm scary. Boo. Boo. That only goes for the people out there that are her age that look at her TikToks. Okay, I know the grown adults that be on TikTok. Which is a little, you know, it's not a little. I had, I don't know, I had a TikTok at one point, but I had to get rid of it.